Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the science of muscle growth. If you have ever wondered how lifting weights actually makes your muscles bigger and stronger, this video is for you. We're going to break it all down, so let's get started. Muscle structure and function. So let's start with the basics. Your body has around 650 skeletal muscles, and these muscles are what allow you to move, lift, and perform all kinds of activities. But how do they work? It all starts with motor neurons. These are the nerves that send signals from your brain to your muscles, telling them to contract. When a motor neuron sends a signal to a muscle, it triggers a part of the muscle cell called a sarcoplasmic reticulum. The structure releases calcium ions that initiate the contraction process. The more effectively your body can control these contractions, the stronger you become. But here's the thing, muscle growth doesn't happen while you are lifting weights. It actually occurs when you are resting afterward. Let's break down how that works. The Role of Resistance Training When you lift weights, you're not just moving heavy objects. You're actually causing tiny amounts of damage to your muscle fibers. These muscle fibers are long cells that were originally formed by many stem cells fusing together during your development. As an adult, you still have a pool of these stem cells known as satellite cells. When your muscles get damaged during a workout, these satellite cells kick into action. They fuse with the damaged muscle fiber, helping to repair and rebuild them. But they don't just stop there. They also stimulate muscle hypertrophy, which is the process of muscle growth. Hypertrophy happens as a number of myofibrils, the basic contracting units within your muscle fibers, increases. More myofibrils means thicker muscle fibers, and thicker muscle fibers means bigger, stronger muscles. Three processes that stimulate muscle growth. Now, let's talk about the three key processes that stimulate muscle growth. Muscle abrasions, the pump, and the burn. Number one, muscle abrasions. As we mentioned earlier, resistance training causes tiny tears in your muscle fibers. This might sound bad, but it's actually a good thing. These abrasions are the first step in the muscle repair process, which ultimately leads to growth. Number two, the pump. Ever notice how your muscles feel tight and full during the workout? That's what we call the pump. It happens when blood rushes to your muscles, bringing with it oxygen and nutrients. The pump temporarily increases the size of your muscles and helps them get the fuel they need to perform and recover. Number three, the burn. Finally, there's the burn. This is that intense feeling you get when your muscles are working hard, usually caused by the buildup of lactic acid. While it might feel uncomfortable, the burn is actually a sign that your muscles are being pushed to their limit, which is exactly what you want for growth. So, what's the takeaway here? Muscles grow when they are constantly challenged. By lifting heavier weights, changing up your exercise routine, and incorporating activities that cause controlled damage to your muscle fibers, you are setting the stage for muscle growth. After your workout, the real magic happens during rest. This is when your body uses the extra nutrients and energy you have consumed to repair and build stronger muscles. So remember, rest and recovery are just as important as the workout itself. And that's the science behind muscle growth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.